Good morning from Willy Fun's Rest Camp. It is just around 4.30 in the morning. I'm quickly headed to the little kitchenette to go fill up our flask with water for coffee on the road. So the trailer is hitched. It was quite a mission because we were on quite a downward slope. Even the trailer's brake didn't want to work, brakes didn't want to keep it from sliding back yesterday. So we had to pack it with rocks. Now we had to push it a bit forward for it to hitch on the trailer. Luckily, Ricky's driving skills were good, his reversing skills. And then he had to go and push. Luckily, he's a strong man and could push that trailer forward. It was luckily just a little bit, but that trailer is quite heavy in the morning. Or any time when you need to push it but it's hitched it's ready to go but then we just saw we push it forward onto the lead <laughs> that was plugged into our house for the um, deep freeze so we just have to wait before we can run up the lead so that we can get the lead packed away and then we're on our way to Bergno very excited for the bugs So we are here on the Willy Fons Bridge, about to have our morning coffee. I think it's just around five o'clock, Nerix. No. <laughs> Did you pinch yourself? Yeah, it's about five. It's about five o'clock. The river looks beautiful, both sides. We are the only one on the bridge now, which is nice. All is good. Had some cool sightings already. Some night creatures a bit. We had a hippo across the road just just after camp um, it was too quick for a photo though so it was going back to the water after a nicely feed and then we had a Varox eagle owl and we had two hyenas walking down the road so good good morning drive so far and I mean it hasn't been that far but yeah beautiful see what birdies there were a few big birds flying around over the bridge yeah so let's see what we can find. Are you going to make us some coffee this morning, Riggs? I don't know if I can make coffee. Can't you? Let's see. Is it too difficult? I'm not awake yet. <laughs> That's a big difference between Ricky and I. I am like a super, super morning person and like not at all a night person. Like eight o'clock, I'm, I'm out and Ricky is the other way around. He's like more of a night owl and not the best morning person. Hey Riggs. That's correct. But you're getting better in the park especially. Yeah, but for the past six, seven, eight years you've been a morning person, I've been a night person. So we compromised. I'm starting to be a more morning person. <laughs>
So we are just pulling away from a little baboon sighting. When I was younger, there was an incident in the park. Um, they put up photos in the park shop to warn people and so on, or in the receptions and so on. People's windows were open at a baboon sighting and baboons got into their car and like ripped them to shreds. And um, yeah, it was like terrible, like it was very gruesome. And as a kid, that haunts you. And it's just a reminder that they are, they are wild creatures. I know they look cute and so on, but if they are close to your car, just make sure to roll up your windows and yeah stay safe it's a jungle out there it's a jungle <laughs> out there. so we are here at a little sighting ricky spotted a owl a pearl spotted an owl lit so it's ricky's first ever pearl spotted owl it's a lifer for you. It's a lifer. Ricky is very, very excited. amazing to spot it in a beautiful setting yeah it's beautiful, beautiful and pictures. in the day which is in the day cool. it was beautiful i think we spent uh, more time with this outlet now than what we've spent with the lion sightings before yeah. <laughs> so pretty cool on a picnic site just for a quick bathroom break i think if we arrived like a minute later we would have wet ourselves yeah <laughs> absolutely we might grab something to eat yeah see what there is and maybe just have a look around see if there's any birds anything in the riverbed and then we'll continue on our drive we had a really nice day which sure. is actually not so nice because we've yeah. stopped so many times we still have such a long way to go to Bergnal I've said this before our trip um, we're gonna see the most this day because we're driving the furthest and we're actually in a bit of a hurry to get to Bergnal because it's far and now we're seeing so much we've been seeing so much which is a good thing but... so welcome to another episode of Rikke's Taste Things so Ricky loves a babuti pie, but the lady at the shop um, told us that the buffalo pies are amazing if we have to try them. So we got two buffalo pies. Ricky? We got two buffalo pies. Want to taste? What's the expert's verdict? Love it. Must have been a very small buffalo, but it's lovely. <laughs> Yummy. There's even a little bit of the yellow belled ox pecker as well.
just stopped here at Afsal picnic site. Almost had bad in our love. Almost. Yeah, almost, and it still hasn't rained. It still hasn't rained, which Whoa. we are hoping it won't rain until we are finished setting up camp. Man, oh man, but it is busy. Yeah. Vicky, I don't think I've ever seen this many cars. It's so busy. And because we've come from up north where there are so few cars. So we are here at Bergendal. We've just arrived. Another leopard um, just before we entered, but it just ran across the road so we didn't see it. And we are here at Bergendal. And we saw one just before that. Oh, I forgot to tell them. Yeah. We saw one just before that. So two, but we didn't see the second one. Well, we missed one. the second one. We missed it. But anyway, so let's check in and go set up camp before it rains. Before it rains. So uh, after a wonderful day so far, uh, drove and saw a lot of animals, uh, saw my first outlet, first bull spotted outlet. Uh, our day took a bit of a turn uh, at this very moment. So we, I think four months ago we already booked this trip and we booked our last six nights at, uh, at Bergendal uh, to camp and on arrival and driving around the camp about let's say numerous times Nine, nine, eight, nine, ten times. Uh, we found there is no camping sites, and it really feels like uh, either there has been overbooking, a bit of overbooking from the from the Kruger side, or people are actually hogging space. And uh, in terms of booking one site and taking three or taking two, um, and yeah, it's, it's bother bothering me a bit to be honest. So now we are on our way to. Malalan. We might have found a, a spot at Malalan to go and camp at the little satellite camp about seven kilometers from, from Bergendal. So hopefully we can uh, quickly rectify the situation and set up camp before the rain comes. And apparently there's uh, from, from the reception side there's still 13 sites uh, or 13 yeah, bookings that need to be that needs to come in today in terms of camping. 13 people or 13 campsites need to be checked in today. So either there's going to be a lot of sports tonight at the, in the next few hours or people who are supposed to check out at 10 o'clock are still not checked out and there's no sign of people even starting to pack up. Um, so let's see what happens, it's going to be interesting. Well, we are not the happiest campers in the world right now. So, um, Malalan is fully booked, like they told us, and still no place. There are a couple of people still riding around campsites, round and around, trying to look for space. No space. We set up the dome. We still we have found our. A hole. We found a little hole, a tiny little hole, and just set up the dome. It wasn't big enough for our our trailer, so we just put up the dome. And we're going to sleep in the dome tonight. And then they said the people at reception said that there's a bunch of people leaving tomorrow. So hoping a good spot leaves tomorrow, so that we can go and pull in there and set up the 
the trailer there but there were people that came in a caravan all the way from East London and shame they were also they were so disappointed because they don't have a they don't have a spot it was crazy it wasn't the best first day yet Bergendal to be honest with you we are riding the a little loop um, yeah close to camp just a short little one we are tired of camp now um, and then let's see hopefully tomorrow we can get a good spot let's see what we can find let's do some birding eh Ricky? yeah the end of a very interesting day interesting to say the least yes um, we just had some stopper at the Tindlobe restaurant here at Bergenal because we don't have a table or chair because there's not enough space for one at our campsite and it just started raining and we don't have a uh, off ducky we have the bare minimum <laughs> we, we, have the bare we have the tent at the moment yeah, and that's so. it and, and a, a bed to sleep on we have bedding so we will sleep nicely yeah, we just don't have you know, don't have place to set up anything else at the moment yeah, a few hours ago I thought we were not gonna have a sleeping place tonight I thought so. we were sleeping in the car tonight yeah. but anyway let's hope we can find a camping place tomorrow yeah. Unlucky number 13, day number 13. I think the, the statement or the saying when it rains it pours is a lot more applicable yeah. now. But <laughs> I think with regards to the day as well. But, because, but it was a good day in the beginning. Yeah, because when the day with animals started, when it rained it poured. That's true. And, and then, then when the bad luck rolled in, it, when it rained it poured. It poured. But um, on better news, let's end it off on a good note. We luckily had lots of good sightings this morning. A good sightings, pearl spotted. Oh, you're pearl spotted. And we saw our first rhino of the trip. We saw a rhino. But we are not going to disclose where we saw it. And sure, we disclose, that's a big word. <laughs> it's um, somewhere in between Olifants and Bergendal. Yeah, we are not going to post any photos or videos of it just for the safety of the rhino yeah. and just one thing is that it's quite sad to see that the rhinos are yeah. all dehorned here in the park yeah. we saw is, two together and both of them were dehorned yeah you don't know if our children one day or the children one day will ever see a rhino with its horn yeah that's how it looks by the way <laughs> that's not how we saw it let's hope tomorrow is better yeah sunshine and happiness sunshine rainbows and bright flies <laughs> all right yeah press all the buttons okay bye thank you for watching day 13 of stay with stacy if we have identified any bird incorrectly please drop us a comment like this video and subscribe to our channel if you want to see if we finally found a campsite see you in the next vlog So the trailer is hitched, hitched. So the trailer is hitched. Okay, so whenever we get to a baboon sighting, we roll up our windows, or yeah, wind up our windows, so that they don't come in. Once I, we were on a bridge, and I was still sitting on my opa's lap in the front of the combi, and a baboon like wanted to climb in the baboons were walking on the bridge's rail and the baboon one put his hand like on our window and my opa slid his kitty so we like shoved him out with the kitty it was very funny the baboon got a big front of my opa's kitty but yeah but 